Have you ever wondered about the most venomous creature lurking beneath the ocean waves? Welcome to the mysterious world of Hydrophini, a subfamily of venomous sea snakes. The term Hydrophini might sound a little intimidating, but don't worry. We're here to unravel the mystery behind this fascinating subfamily of serpents. The story of Hydrophini begins in the 19th century, a time of great exploration and discovery. The world's oceans were vast, uncharted territories, and many of their secrets remained hidden in the deep. It was during this era that the first members of the Hydrophini subfamily were discovered. The scientists who made this groundbreaking discovery were as surprised as they were intrigued. Imagine their astonishment upon finding these slithering creatures in the ocean, a place they had thought to be dominated by fish and other marine life. The realization that these were not just ordinary snakes, but venomous sea snakes, was a revelation that changed our understanding of marine biodiversity. These early researchers were drawn to the Hydrophini's unique characteristics, the strikingly vibrant colors, the flattened tails that allowed them to navigate the water with ease, and of course, their potent venom. These features distinguished Hydrophini from their land-dwelling relatives and set them apart as a significant subfamily within the Elapidae family of venomous snakes. The discovery of Hydrophini wasn't just about adding another species to the list of known marine life. It was a discovery that challenged established ideas and opened up new avenues for scientific exploration. It was a discovery that brought to light the rich diversity of life in our oceans and the incredible adaptability of nature. The journey of understanding Hydrophini has been a thrilling one, filled with curiosity, intrigue and the constant pursuit of knowledge. The more we learn about these remarkable creatures, the more we realize how much more there is yet to discover. The discovery of Hydrophini opened up a whole new world of marine venomous creatures and as we continue to explore this mysterious world, who knows what other secrets we might uncover. But how did these creatures come to rule the ocean depths? Our story begins millions of years ago when the ancestors of Hydrophini, also known as sea snakes, were land-dwelling creatures. These terrestrial snakes, much like their modern counterparts, were well suited for life on solid ground. But as the Earth's climate and geography changed, some of these snakes found themselves living near the shoreline and eventually ventured into the ocean. This was the pivotal moment in the evolution of Hydrophini. Over countless generations, these pioneering snakes adapted to their new marine environment. One of the most noticeable changes was the transformation of their bodies. Their tails evolved from the typical slender tapering form of land snakes to a flattened paddle-like shape, perfect for propelling them through water. But the adaptations didn't stop there. Imagine breathing through your skin. Well, Hydrophine can do just that. A significant portion of their oxygen intake comes through their skin a feature that is particularly beneficial for an animal that spends so much time underwater. These adaptations, though, were not just about survival, but also about hunting. Hydrophini are carnivorous, feeding primarily on fish and occasionally on other marine animals. Their paddle-like tails allow them to move swiftly and stealthily through the water while their ability to breathe through their skin means they can stay submerged and undetected for extended periods. This combination of speed, stealth and endurance makes them formidable predators. But perhaps the most fascinating thing about Hydrophini is how they've managed to not just survive but thrive in an environment that is so vastly different from where they originated. They've not only adapted to the ocean, they've become an integral part of it. As we delve deeper into the lives of these fascinating creatures, we realize that their story is a testament to the power of evolution. It's a story of change, adaptation and survival. A story that reminds us of the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on our planet. Evolution has indeed turned Hydrophene into perfect marine predators. What makes these sea snakes the most venomous creatures in the ocean? 
Well, the answer lies in their potent venom, which is a remarkable concoction of proteins and enzymes. This venom is so potent that a single bite can prove fatal. It attacks the nervous system, causing paralysis and disrupts the blood's ability to clot, leading to internal bleeding. In severe cases, the venom can cause cardiac arrest and death within a few hours. But it's not all doom and gloom. The venom also has significant medical potential, with researchers exploring it for painkillers and other drugs. Now, why does the hydrophini need such a powerful venom? It serves two primary purposes, hunting and defense. When hunting, hydrophini use their venom to immobilize their prey, primarily fish. The venom's potency allows the snake to swiftly incapacitate its prey, reducing the risk of injury during the struggle. In terms of defense, the venom serves as a formidable deterrent against potential predators. A single bite can deliver enough venom to ward off even the most determined attacker. The production and delivery of this venom are equally fascinating. The venom is synthesized in specialized glands located behind the snake's eyes. These glands are essentially venom factories, producing and storing the deadly cocktail. When the snake bites, the venom is forced out of the gland, down a duct, and into the fangs. The fangs, which are hollow like hypodermic needles, then deliver the venom into the victim. It's a highly efficient system, ensuring the venom's swift and effective delivery. So as we delve deeper into the world of hydrophenae, we see a creature that is not only a master of adaptation, but also a potent chemist. Its venom, a deadly blend of proteins and enzymes, is both a tool for survival and a testament to the snake's evolutionary prowess. The venomous bite of hydrophina is a testament to nature's lethal ingenuity. What is the current status of hydrophiny in our oceans? That's a question that piques the curiosity of many. Hydrophina, or sea snakes as they are commonly known, continue to slither through our oceans primarily found in the tropical and subtropical waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. They've been seen from the east coast of Africa to the Gulf of California and from Japan to New Zealand. There are approximately 60 species of these fascinating creatures, each with its own unique characteristics and habitat preferences. However, their existence is not without challenges. The hydrophini find themselves threatened by a variety of factors. Habitat loss is a significant concern. As our coastal regions continue to be developed for human use, these snakes lose their nesting and hunting grounds. Mangrove deforestation and coral reef degradation are particularly damaging, as many species rely on these ecosystems for their survival. Climate change is another looming threat. Rising sea temperatures can disrupt the delicate balance of marine ecosystems, affecting the availability of prey and potentially altering the geographical distribution of sea snakes. Ocean acidification and sea level rise are also potential threats impacting the overall health of the marine environment upon which these snakes depend. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are concerted efforts underway to conserve these intriguing serpents of the sea. Scientists are working to understand more about their biology, behavior, and ecology to inform effective conservation strategies. Protected marine areas are being established to safeguard their habitats, and laws are being implemented to restrict harmful human activities. Education and awareness are also vital. By understanding the importance of these creatures and the threats they face, we can all play a part in their preservation. It's a mammoth task, no doubt, but one that holds immense promise and potential. The future of hydrophenae hangs in the balance, and it's up to us to ensure their survival.